the six Toa Metro heroes defeated Makuta, imprisoning him high on the wall of the Great Barrier. <coughs> but not before Makuta had imprisoned the Matoran in pods which keep them in a deep sleep. After their battle with Makuta and their flight from Metro Nui, the Toa Metru find themselves trapped on the island of Mata Nui. In an attempt to escape the island and return to Metru Nui to awake the Met Matoran, the Toa have entered a cave network which they hope will lead them back to the hidden city. But in a desperate battle with the Rahi Nui, Nokama has been mortally wounded, poisoned, We cannot turn back. We must hurry to Metro Nui. There's more at stake than Nokama. We're not moving. You'd better think of something else, Fire Spitter. The Morbizach. No, I am what the Morbizach wished it could be. I am the Karzani. What do you want of us? My needs are simple. Power and revenge. Power I have, but revenge. That you cheated me of, Toa Metru, and so my vengeance shall fall upon you. Wouldn't your revenge be sweeter against all six of us? How can you take the full measure of satisfaction from it when only one of us is dying? What trouble harm have we caused you, monster, that you keep us from saving our friend? You have robbed from me, Matau. You attacked my creator, imprisoned him in a place I cannot reach, and for that, you must atone. Makuta! Makuta created you and we defeated him. Now you're angry because you want to rescue your creator. Rescue? Fools! I want Makuta dead! He created me. And rejected me. He made me too powerful, too wise, and too well. I would not have been content only to rule Metronui. I would have wanted his destruction. Your friend has little time left. I have need for all six of you, though for reasons you cannot suspect. I can heal her temporarily, then you will do a task for me. Succeed, and I might be persuaded to cure the Toe of Water permanently. Where am I? What? And what is that? That thing? Where is the great beast we are fighting? And what is this task, then? A simple one for such brave heroes. You will take the passage north from this cave. There you will find a vault set into the wall of the tunnel. From the vault you will take a black vial, which you will then use to collect a sample of energized protodermis from one of Makuta's many lairs and bring it back here to me. I'll go first and check it's not some kind of trap. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Jacques here. Welcome to a brand new series of uh, Bionicle Maze of Shadows. A very unusual game to have on the channel, but a welcome one. Um, this is a GBA game, or Game Boy Advance game, that my younger brother had growing up, and it was really the only Bionicle game our family owned growing up. Um, and, um, yeah, it, um, I've referenced this game before in my discontinued series of Bionicle Heroes, and, frankly, this, um, I also mentioned how this game was superior to uh, Bionicle Heroes, and, and it's also uh, superior to this older Bionicle game, 
which was the game version of Mask of Light, basically. Um, uh, the reason it's superior to Mask of Light was Mask of Light, from what I've seen, just seems far too short and just abrupt and unfulfilling and also quite cheesy. <laughs> um, Bionicle Heroes felt way too much like a Lego game rather than a Bionicle game. And you're like, well, Bionicle is Lego. Well, what I mean by that is that Lego games are full of slapstick and childish humor. Like, childish, like, goofy. Goofy humor. Um, and while Bionicle does have some moments like that, it's not overall what that's supposed to be. Like, the villains are serious villains. Um, and stuff like that. Um, plus, Bionicle here has felt m way too much like a sci-fi shooter and not like an elemental powers game. Um, this game, however, from what I've seen and played, and I've only played the end part of it because that was a save file that my game, my brother had, and also I've only played the beginning part of this uh, from all the previous attempts to record this. Um, but from what I've seen, it's like this game is like very much an RPG, which is perfect for a Bionicle because, you know, Bionicle is elemental and and uh, running into all sorts of different enemies, so it just makes sense, you know. I can communicate mind to mind, Toa Matru of Fire, no matter the distance. Now pick up those discs. Righto, boyo. Items found Onu Matru, remove poison. Okay. And the other was a Ta Matru. Hold the R button to bring up the disc menu. While holding the R button, use the control pad to select the disc you found. Release the R button to confirm. Press the A button to throw the selected disc. To battle Rahi, walk into them or throw a disc. Use your disc now to engage this Rahi. Righto. Ah, oh, this is a save. Akama level 1 versus Kofojaga level 1. A uh, fire scorpion thingamabobber. To defeat a Rahi, reduce its stun points to zero. The bars along the bottom of the screen display remaining stun points. Each Toa and Rahi has an element. An attack from a strong element against a weak element will be a strong attack. An attack from a weak element against a strong element will be a weak attack. Okay, makes sense. Choose element strengths from the combat menu to compare elements. Each time you attack, a use point is... Uh, oh, hang on. Each time you attack, comma, a use point is deducted from that attack type. Once an attack type has run out of use points, it cannot be selected. Okay. Basic ammunition stuff. Once you defeat a Rahi, its details appear in the Rahi Chronicle. Use Vakama's mask and tool powers and the discs you picked up to defeat this Rahi. To learn more about a power, disc, or item, highlight it and hold the R button. Okay. Element strengths. Okay. Water is greater than fire. Fire beats ice. Ice beats earth. Earth beats stone. Stone beats air. Air beats water. Okay. This battle music is pretty epic. Woo! Nailed him. Victory. Experience gained 50 points.
Use item, Buto Matru, Rocky Chronicle. Oh yeah, because of because of all my previous attempts. Unfortunately. Um I already have the information of some of these guys. Uh and no matter how many times I restart, it uh it keeps it keeps the uh the stuff. Anyway, that's okay. Um, I didn't save. Walk off the edge of that gap to jump across it. Okay. You can use your great mask of concealment to avoid being ambushed by unseen enemies, but you won't grow stronger by avoiding conflict, Toa Matru of Fire. Press the B button to use your mask power. Roger that. Pick up my roots. They can be used to regain energy during or after combat. Or before combat, even. Yeah, this is a real shame, because um, growing up, I only thought the Bionicles had elemental powers. I didn't know that their masks uh, also gave them a unique power, uh, unique to themselves. So, real shame there. Oh well. This door needs a code. With a teleport disc, you can call on the other Toa Meitru to help you. Hold the L button now to bring up the teleport menu. Use the control pad to select Nokama, then release the L button to teleport her in. Nokama, walk up to the strange inscription on that wall. By pressing the B button, you can use your mask of translation to read the ancient text. Okay. I translated it. It's a door code. Which, uh, incidentally, her her mask of translation not only allows her to translate any language, but it also allows her to communicate with the Rahi, which is uh, the bionicle equivalent of a an animal or a wild animal. Red Tometru discs can knock aside some obstacles. Okay. Oh. Some gaps are far too, or excuse me, are too far to jump across. The Toa Metru of Air must surely be able to leap that gap. Use the le uh, the teleport menu again to call in Matau and have him jump to the other side. Um, fun fact, in case you're wondering why, um, Matau used a weird word like trouble harm, uh, it's because the Lima Torin or the Green Bionicles, they, uh, either their first language is tree speak, or they can communicate with trees, or it's just another language they speak, and so they're able to, or when they speak English, um, or the normal language, you know, um, they'll sometimes use weird words like that. Some of the tunnel walls here are weak and cracked. The Toa Matru of Earth could use his Toa tools to break through. <laughs> Toa tools. Could you be any more generic? <laughs> uh, teleport Wenua in and press the B button to smash through rock. Righto, boyo. Uh -huh. Yoink. Kiri Kori Nui level one. Ow. 
Sonic Blast. Ah, uh, come on now. Woo! Got him. So that previous guy was an air boy, because he's green. But some critters don't follow that rule of, like, color coding with the elements and such. This guy, for instance, the Fico, or Fiku, or the F.U. <laughs> um, he's yellow, but he's a an Earth creature. And Earth creatures are typically black, like uh, Wenua here. So, um, yeah, a little weird there, but that's just how it be. Got him! Nice. During combat, use the teleport command to switch between Toa Meitru. Make sure all the Toa Meitru are used equally in combat. Try to keep the Toa Meitru at the same experience level as each other. Alright. Press the B button to activate Nuju's Mask of Telekinesis. Each objects, or any objects, which can be moved, will be indicated with an arrow. Push left or right on the control pad to select the object you want to move, then press the A button to pick up the object. Use the control pad to move the object around, then press the A button again to drop it. Press the B button. Pressing the B button will deactivate the mask power. Yuji's mask of telekinesis only has a limited range. The uh, phrasing there is a bit weird, but whatever. Um, I also, I confess, I also have a soft spot for this uh, Bionicle game that I know of. Uh, of all the of all the Bionicle games I know of, because it deals with the Toa Matru or this specific squad of Toa. Um, because I had two of them growing up. I had this guy Nuju, and I also had Vakama, the red guy. Um, I also had a pre Matoran slash pre, or excuse me, a pre Toa or or Matoran version of. Um, Nokama, the blue gal. Um, like before she became a Toa, what she looked like, the smaller, the smaller folks. Which, fun fact, um, in Bionicle, all the blue Bionicles are girls. Um, any Bionicle that is not blue is not a girl. Um, at least that's the general rule. I don't actually know of any exception to that rule, but... If there is one, let me know. Aniwa can use his Toa tools to safely climb over rubble or along the face of rough walls. Select Aniwa from the teleport menu, then use him to climb past the large gap in the next room in order to progress. Okay. Aniwa, who sounds very similar to Wenua, but, to be fair, their powers are also very similar. Uh, he's, he's the Toa of Stone, and Wenua is the Toa of uh, Earth. Which, the only difference I can really think of or observe is location. Like... Aniwa, or the, the stone folks, are above ground, whereas the earth folks are below ground, or underground. That's the only difference I can really decipher between earth and stone in the Bionicle universe. Um, let's see, you can learn more about discs, tool powers, and mask powers in the pause menu. Highlight the power you wish to know more about and press the R button. Right you are, boyo. You can use those mystical stone pillars to recover all stun and use points lost in combat. Each pillar can only be used once. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
What does this do? Uh-oh. It's an air boy. So actually, being a Niwa is a good idea. I'm reminded of this elemental game, which is like rock, paper, scissors on steroids, that my younger brother and his friend played a lot. And then I took that idea and I basically combined it with the game Ninja, and it was a lot of fun. Um, Elemental Ninja. Let's see, Nui Rama, or Nui. Okay, fair enough. Yoink. Nice. And you're also air. Uh, Goodbye, baby. Have I fought with Nuju yet? I don't think so. Nice. Just you wait, guys. I'm gonna fight you someday with diamond pickaxes. Ha ha ha. Um. I want to make sure regenerate disc. Got it. So something that's pretty cool and interesting, like as far as timing is concerned. Uh oh. Uh, you're fire, so. What? Oh, <laughs> he stopped to, to show respect to me using my, uh, accidentally hitting the translate button. That's funny. I appreciate that they actually use the Matoran alphabet in that uh, move animation. Have I mentioned how epic this music is? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Tom Echu. Ooh! Slam dunk. Try this again. I'm not, I don't think I've fought as Matau yet. Nice. Tool. Fly attack. Ooh! Got him! I didn't sound Karzani roots. Nice. Uh, fun fact, uh, also about Nakama, is, um... Oh no! It's some of these bugged ones. Or glitched ones. This one's okay, though. Or that one down there was, anyway. This one, I'll have to come back to it. Um, but Nokama's occupation before she became a Toa was, um, she was a school teacher, so it makes sense that her superpower, oh no, another bugged one, um, so it makes sense that her mask power is translation. Yeah. 
And uh, the other Toa's Mato especially will give her crap about that. Um, ah yes, I remember what I was going to say. Uh, what's pretty cool about the timing, and it reminded me, and you'll kind of see why. Um, what's cool about the timing of this uh, playthrough is that um, someone dear to me, um, he goes by Wilbur J. Wright or the Lab Cat, and he's he's YouTuber, but he's mostly a Rumbler. I don't know if Rumbler is even the proper term, but um, he's been playing Tron 2.0, which is a really fun game. But and of course, in the Tron universe, discs are not only the identity of a person, but they're used as weapons and defense, or um, uh, weapons and shields, like offense and defense. And of course, in this game, discs are also um, that as well. Like they have the um, they have the they're used as weapons. Um, and. On top of that, masks in this game are also used to forge uh, masks, which masks carry a huge identity um, aspect in this universe. Like, your mask is part of your identity. Ironically, right? Because masks typically conceal your identity, but in this universe, they rather are your identity. Or part of it, anyway. So, you know, there's that connection as well. Um, but on top of that, he's also really into Deltarune. Um, kinda into Undertale, but mostly Deltarune. He's not, he's not really that big on Undertale. Um, which is of course an RPG, both of which are RPGs, and of course this is also kind of an RPG. So, you know, that connection there is pretty cool, I think. Anyway, speaking of masks, Telekinesis. Never mind. Um, let's do a Pometru, because that's a uh, stone disc. Yeah, except he dodged it. So, like, a little trivia. So, Ta, the prefix Ta means fire. Or is really the fire. Ko is ice. Po is stone. Onu or Ono is earth. Ga is water. Um, Li is air. I think I covered. Yeah, I covered all of them. Um, let's see. Let's try a Po again. Oh, come on! Alright, let's try that one more time. No, actually, let's try a Komeitru. Nice. I was gonna say, maybe the Pometru discs are slower or something, even though they don't really look slower. The thing is, in my all my attempts to record this beginning part, the Pometru discs have the worst luck. <laughs> um... Which makes me kind of think they are slow. But what's ironic about that is the Toa Mata, uh, for the Toa Mata, the, the Toa of Stone, Pohatu, his mask is the mask of speed. <laughs> so, that's the irony there. Um... Ah, oh, come on. Alright, you know what? Bring in somebody else. I haven't given Vakama that much love lately. I have kind of, of a hypothesis. Um, I haven't really gotten it proven yet. But my hypothesis, whoa! Oh, it's this kind of creature that, uh, mortally wounded, uh, 
no comma. I almost called her Gali, which is the Toa Mata, not the Toa Mechu of water. Um, let's see. You're a stone boy, yeah? So in that event, let's bring in one new, uh... Ow. Aw, oh, come on! Also, the, the Toa, or excuse me, the Sonic Blast, I've had... I've had really bad luck with. I mean, yeah. Nice. Yoink. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, right. I should have hit defend. My bad. Try this again. No effect. Alright, let's see if I can get him with a Poe Matru. Oh, come on! Alright, this time I'll do defend. Alright, now please just stand still. There we go. I like how our, all their victory animations are, uh, the same. Or not the same. They're all different. Wow, Tom A. True Basic Disc Level 2. Nice. Sorry, my bad. Let's see. Does anybody need it? Uh, when you... Everybody's in pretty good shape. Anybody ever play the, uh, the Clue Finder games? I'm, I'm kind of reminded of the, uh... It's like there was this one game where... It was like all of the bad guys... Aw, oh, man, it's still bugged. All or a good deal of the bad guys that the Clue Finders have um, dealt with. They team together... Aw, oh, it's still bugged. They team together to try and stop them once and for all, and each of them has, like, a special kind of level. And they separate the clue finders this way. And one of them is... One of the worlds is the plant, or this underground plant world that's full of, like, these plant monster thingies. And eventually, like, once you've completed... Once you've completed all the levels uh, in the other game, or the other games, um, like the the more you collect and the more you progress in the other games, the more you progress in the last game. Because in the last game, all of the other Clue Finder kids will come together as you know a team, and then each of them has their own special ability based on what they've collected in the other realms, or the other areas. <clears throat> kind of reminds me. It's like, you know, one of them could throw oranges and stuff, which was like some kind of weapon against, like, the plants or plant enemies or something. And then, like, San uh, Santiago, Santiago collected batteries or something. Um... I forgot what the... 
the boy with glasses was named. And I also forgot what he did. Um, the... The girl who was, like, stuck in the library and stuff, she could throw books as a weapon or something. I forgot what it was, but I got reminded of that. Anyway. Uh, this guy is Earth. Which probably means... I should... Try something else. Ow. Oh, good. Yoink! Nice! Um, let's bring in... Oh, I remembered what I... Uh, I remembered something I forgot earlier. So, I have this hypothesis. I don't know if it's accurate or not. But I'm wondering if because Vakama has the disc launcher as his weapon, that he's more guaranteed to land a powerful hit with it. Um, I haven't really seen evidence against that hypothesis yet. But, yeah, that's that's what I've got so far. Uh, Mato's... I don't really know what his occupation was. He was kind of like a, a tester, like a, like a stunt vehicle tester or something. Basically a daredevil sort of person in that aspect. I don't know if, like, what's the occupation for that? It's like, you're testing a vehicle or something? If, or whatever. It seemed that's what he did. Um, because he's, he, he was all about thrills and adventure and, um, also pretty cocky. Um. So basically a Rundus sort of fellow. Which, for those who don't know who Rundus is, he's this, uh... ...character from Metroid Prime Hunters. Or, excuse me, not Hunters, Corruption. Aw, oh, man. Another game, uh... Both games involve other bounty hunters other than Samus herself. Nope, still bugs. I have been able to debug them before. I like how their animation, or the animation for some of these guys when they do their superpower is like, alright, back the truck up, you know. Rawlock Ash Bear. Now, this guy is an Earth fellow, which means that being on Niwa is not a good idea. So I'm gonna bring in Nuju. Freeze, right? Nice. Nice. See if I can finish him off with this. Ah, no! Um... Yoink! Subject to de resolution. So one of the risks of, uh... Ah, shoot. The risk of getting ambushed is that, you know, naturally the enemy has, you know, an advantage. 
Ah, still broken. Um, but yeah, it's like in this game when they ambush you, it's like really. Oh, speaking of which, they like are extra tough because they get the jump on you. Ow. Oh no. Aniwa, no! Alright, uh, buddy boy. Oh no! I am too! Yeah, weak attack, maybe, but he's really giving me the business. Alright, buddy boy. What?! Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Um... Me. Ow. Now please hit you. All right. It's like their defense is significantly up. If that makes any sense at all. Ow. Night vision. Critical chance raised. Still on, I didn't realize. What? Ow, oh, that's cheap. There we go. Wanua leveled up, which means I think he's back to full health. <laughs> Wanua, you're still, uh... You're okay, you know? Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, Wanua is per splat. Wenua is just fine. So. Regenerate disk. Uh, oh, no, we true. I wonder if that makes it makes a difference, like. Because it's a it's a regenerate disk, but it's an onumetru oh, regenerate disk. Um, only nine points. Uh, eh, well, on the other hand, um, all right, there we go. Aniwa is fine. Um, wrong button. Hide, shall we? Check up on these things. Hey, that one's fixed. Was I talking about something before this? I don't remember. Hey, that one's also fixed. You know, just for that. 
to celebrate, we're gonna save. like um Muju was or if it was just common for the Komatoran or the White Bionicles but like um Muju's occupation I think he was like a researcher, astronomer, philosopher sort of guy. Always looking toward the future and for the future and all that sort of stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Niwa was a um, stone carver. I don't know if that that's also uh, I don't know if that's also because uh, he was a historian um, or just an artist or both but you know those sorts of things when Nua was a um, Wenua was an archivist uh, and a librarian and menagerie sort of folk, or sort of person. Ono Mechu, speaking of Onu Matoran. Um... Whoops. So like when it came to finding information about a certain creature and stuff, like uh, Wenua was your guy, like he would know. Ah. And I was like, you might be like, well, this doesn't really make sense because it's through the wall. Like, how could he see? Well, something about the White Bionicles, or at least all of the... Uh-oh. Oh. See, this guy is a, um... A stone? Rocky, if I'm not mis- if I recall correctly. Wow, nice. Ow. Uh-oh. Attributes lowered. Oof. Interestingly, like, they use the same disc ammunition, but everything else, or the disc and item ammunition. Ooh, nice. 
Yeah, see, that was a Poe Matrix disc, and, like, my luck with Poe Matrix discs are so low, or so bad, and yet, that was, like, just one shot with Vakama with the disc launcher. Now, it could be a coincidence, but, see, discs can be thrown to hit switches high up on walls, often in areas the Toa cannot reach. If you can't reach a switch with one type of disc, try using a different disc. Oh yeah, what was I, uh, what I was saying was, you see how uh, Nuju has a scope on his mask, which is pretty common among the white bionicles, and it allows them to see through walls, and zoom has zoom function, and thermal vision, and stuff like that. Had to hit it just right. Um. Oh yeah. Vakama was a a mask forger. Which I don't know how common that was among the fire Matorans, but considering that it deals with, you know, forging and fire and stuff, it seems implied that it was a fairly common occupation for the Ta Matorans. Song class is full. Which that seemed like a little bit of a waste, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, teleport when or on Niwa. Bear, so not gonna be a uh, Niwa anymore. Yeah, I'll go ahead and be Nuju, I guess. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't realize just how damage Nuju was, holy smokes. Uh, bring in no comma. Uh, last freeze disc, but you know what? There's a tower back there. Oh, 
power shot. Tom Atrio. Nice! Tarzani Sap. Somewhere a door opened. Uh, let's see. Use item. Is it really? Oh my goodness. Okay, I knew Nuju was badly hurt, but uh, Nokama is also not doing too well. Hmm. It just slightly annoys me that I can't see all six at once, and scrolling down only leads to one more. But, you know, it, it's, it's hardly worth fussing about. Hmm. Is it worth it to be using my items when there's a tower? It's a sequence. A sequence, you say? Okay. Pretty simple. Shoot! I actually messed it up. Okay, there we go. the tower this way. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Yes, I know. I could just be concealing as Vakama for most of the time, but you know what? I'm a little adventurous. Just before I hit the tower, are you kidding me? Oh no, and it's one of these guys. Uh, yoink! What? Uh. Are you serious? Alright, um... Well, on the plus side, I'm right next to the disc, so I really have nothing to lose. Oh, no, made true disc. Nice. Yowza. Nice. Uh-oh. Paralyzed. I think I'm gonna lose him. Oh no! I still have him. Tom Atrio. No! Alright. Gotcha! Congratulations on Niwa level up. Nice. So he actually got all his health and unique powers back. Awesome sauce. Yeet. Yeet.
Oh, frick, I just realized I didn't encounter those... I didn't engage these guys over here. Eh. I'm probably gonna regret this. <laughs> Freeze ray. Nice. Another Earth guy. Nice. Youch. Niju leveled up, so now he's back to full health. And full abilities. Tomatru in large disc, level 1. Okay, actually this wasn't so bad. I get the first duel, or the, the first hit now. Now at first I thought that hitting, or if you challenge them first, then you would get the first, uh, the first blow. But I found out that that's not always the case. In fact, oftentimes it's not. If not usually. Nice. Enlarge disc. What does this do? Woo! Ooh, nice! Poe made true disc for the win. I don't think I lost any health there. Well, the, the second round, that is. Okay, you know what? I don't regret that. Alright, we're finally leaving the area. Oh, we got ourselves a new area, too. So, get that taken care of. And this seems like a pretty good place to stop. Uh, Thank you all so much for watching, as always, God bless, and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao!